nada. Welcome to Zara Kraku with me, Zara from Indonesia. So guys, talking about Turkey, I never heard about what things not to do in Turkey before. And now I'm so curious. Okay, let's start to watch 10 things not to do in Turkey. Hello everyone, I'm Jan and I'm Turkish. Today, we're going to look at 10 things that you shouldn't do in Turkey. Number one, don't blow your nose loudly when you are with others. I know, okay. blowing your nose is such a normal thing and in many countries, it's okay to blow your nose whenever and wherever you want. But in Turkey, if you blow your nose loudly when you are with others, you might get some weird looks from people because it's considered impolite. For example, if yeah, I blow my nose loudly when I'm impolite. eating with my family or if I do it when I'm in a meeting with others, they will probably find it a bit annoying. By the way, I'm not talking about this kind of blowing. What I'm talking is this. <laughs> oh my god. It's so, so basically, disgusting. if you have so much booger and if you need I to blow your nose just uh, like I did, you know their nose in somewhere the toilet. where others can't hear you. Not in Number public two, place. Don't confuse Turkish people with Arabs. Okay, okay, so this is the classic, guys. For some reason, many people think that Turkey is an Arabic country, uh, we are Arabs, and we speak Arabic in Turkey. No, no, no. Okay, if you Turkey say any of these things, is you not Arab, it's, it's not Middle it's East. Not annoy Turkish people. Because think about it, it's like going to Paris, talking to a French person, and saying, So, you guys are actually German, right? I know, it's Pinjab. Pinjab. What is it doesn't Pinjab? make sense, right? So that's why I don't do the same thing in Turkey. Turkey is not an Arabic country. Our culture is totally different. We're Turks and we speak Turkish. Just do some research. Number three, don't argue over the origin of the foods. As you probably know, food in Turkey is a big deal. And Turkish people are so proud of Turkish cuisine. Sometimes some people argue over the origin of the popular foods like kebab, döner, or baklava. Some people say baklava is original from Greece, it's not Turkish. And I even came across with people who say, Really? Did you know that doner is actually a German food? It's not Turkish. So obviously I'm not going to discuss which country these foods belong to in this video. I think baklava <coughs> and kebab is from Turkey. There are many rumors claiming the origin of the food. But when you're in Turkey, just leave the politics out of the kitchen. Just try not to argue the origin of the food since we consider them all as our traditional food from deep inside. Some people okay. might get too upset when you claim that, oh, that food is actually Greek. Oh, that food came from an Arabic country. So no politics about the food, just enjoy your baklava, okay, dinner, no or whatever you want to Okay, no politics about food. Don't treat stray animals badly. Oh, In animal. Istanbul alone, there are around 300,000 stray cats and dogs. Yeah. And most Turkish people I think in Turkey there animals, are so many they cats everywhere. They are their own pets. You can find shelters, food, water provided by people almost wow. everywhere in Istanbul. So stray animals are basically publicly owned communal pets. Turkey really treat mindful animals and don't well, very well. Them. You might not like cats or dogs. Maybe you don't find them clean, but like don't push them around or something because this can really make someone angry. As if you push their own. Pets. I never I mean, push special animals. Always be sure do this because I'm but so afraid of how cats. Such people say stray animals. Don't gossip in English in public. So I don't know if this is just my observation, but people usually tend to think that Turkish people don't know any English at all. And okay, I accept that we're not the best when it comes to speaking English. But I think I can say that we are good at understanding. Many Turkish people, especially the young population, have a decent grasp of English and they will probably understand you if you go to about Turkey or if you go to about, you know, Turkish people in English. Because it happened to me many times actually. I heard people go speak about Turkey on a bus or at the coffee shop, Turkish cuisine is just all rated though. Like, they just have kebab. Yeah, I think Turkish people are racist. Don't worry, no one will argue with you for saying these things, but I think it's just a little uncomfortable and embarrassing when other people understand you. So to avoid uncomfortable situations like that, go sit behind your back. Don't expect to get the change if it is less than 5 krush. So our okay. current is Lira. This is one lira. One lira. And then we have krush. For example, this is five krush. 
Okay, buy kush. So think kush as sand for now, okay? So let's say you went to a market and you got a chocolate. It cost 3 lira 96 kush. And you gave 4 lira to the cashier. Now you're supposed to get 4 kush back as your change, right? They won't yeah. give you your 4 kush. When you ask oh. for your change, they will probably say, Oh, we don't have 1 kush. Because for 4 kush, they need to have 4 1 kush. In Turkey, it's so hard to find one crush. Honestly, I don't really remember the last time that I've seen one crush. Okay, it's weird, but crush. even though government is making one crush, no one seems to have it. So don't be mad at the cashier. They are not trying to scam you. This is how it works almost everywhere. Okay. If your change is less than five crush, they are not going to give you a crush. Well, in most of the places. Okay. Don't feel that you have to tip. Good news for you guys, tipping is not mandatory in Turkey. It's not really common and Turkish people usually don't tip. So don't worry, no one will get upset by you don't tip them at a restaurant or at a coffee okay, shop. Or don't a tip them. However, if you think that you got a good service, you can leave some tips. Why not? That will be great. And I'm sure the employees will appreciate it. Don't insult Atatürk. If you don't know who Atatürk is, he is the founder and the first president of the Turkish public. For this yeah, and for many other reasons, Turkish people have a deep respect for him. You will see his portrait literally everywhere in Turkey. So even if you don't like Atatürk for some reason, I wouldn't recommend bad mounting about Atatürk to someone that you don't know well, because they might get aggressive. And in fact, insulting Atatürk is against laws in Turkey. So don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying <gasps> we should never talk about Atatürk. If you have questions okay. or if you are curious about him, Turkish people will love to answer. What I'm saying is just don't insult him or don't bad mouth about Atatürk, especially if you don't know much about him and the situation that the country was in when he founded the Turkish public, this can make people angry. Don't drink the tap water. So in Turkey, most people don't prefer to drink the tap water and it has a few reasons. First of all, we are not really sure if it is 100% clean or not. And secondly, tap water doesn't taste as good as uh, bottled water, at least for me. For these reasons, most people buy bottled water for drinking. But that doesn't mean we never use tap water. We use it for brushing our teeth, showering, for making hot drinks, or for cooking. So except drinking, you can use tap water for whatever you want. Don't enter a house with your shoes on. Personally, I never okay. get into a Turkish home without taking my shoes off. So Turkish I people usually take their shoes at the front door and then they shoes wear shoes you go to someone's home. So if you go to someone's home, I think it's Turkey, kind of like try uh, to enter with your shoes on. This will be a bit things. respectful to the owner. But if you're also walking with shoes inside, you don't need to uh, take off your shoes. So these are the 10 things that you shouldn't do in Turkey. Are there any other things that you think people shouldn't do in Turkey? Please let me know in the comments below. So I hope you liked the video guys. If you liked it, please Wow, okay guys, that is 10 things not to do in Turkey. I think people that want to go to Turkey must watch this video. I think every country has their own norms and be happier. But I think there is similarity between Turkey and Indonesia. Like, don't blow your nose very loudly. Yeah, I think this thing is impolite. I recommend people that want to blow their nose, they have to go to the toilet to do this thing. And also, there is similarity between Indonesia and Turkey. Like, don't enter a house with your shoes on. Because in Indonesia, majority of Muslims who pay great attention to the cleanliness. And also guys, there is unique thing about change in Turkey and Indonesia. In Turkey, we don't have to expect about the change under 5 lira but in Indonesia it's really unique because sometimes if the cashiers not has any coins for 100 rupiah they will give you the change with the candies alright guys thanks for watching my video but don't forget to like comment and also subscribe okay see you in the next video